Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tubblescolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, I've, I've got a helper with me today. Uh, Miss Thea has decided to join me. And this is the card that we're going to be making and if you stay with us we will show you how we did it. These are the things that I'm using today. This is my card base. It's a piece of white card and it's 11 and a half by 4 inches and I've scored and folded it at 5 and 3 quarters. Uh, this is a piece of Tempting Turquoise. This is a great project for using up your scraps. And I've also got a little scrap of Whisper White for stamping on. Uh, I'm going to be using Sunshine Sayings and Basic Black Archival Ink. I've used the Layering Squares templates and I'm also going to be using the Project Life Corner Rounder. I'm going to begin with the stamping. So I have the Happy Birthday sentiment mounted up onto my clear block and I've got my basic black ink. And I'm going to ink up my stamp by, and I'm sort of twisting it against the pad. And I'm just going to find where I think I want that and just press down and count one, two, three, four, five for the ink to transfer, which it has beautifully. And I'm now going to bring in my stamp and trimmer, which for some reason I've got left handed. Let me turn it that way around because I am not left handed. Now look, you see I've put my thumb on that straight away. Oh, what am I like? Luckily, it's a bit that I'm going to cut off and I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to line that up where I want it. In the channel there. I'm just going to cut that away. And I'm also going to trim down this end a bit. And I'm just I'm just doing this pretty much by eye. There's no science to this at all. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put that on one side for the moment and I'm going to get on with the rest of the card. Okay, I noticed when I was using my stamping trimmer there that the uh, that, that it was cutting a little bit. Three, two, one. Okay, uh, I noticed the last time I used my... I noticed when I used my stamping trimmer that it was cutting a little bit ragged so it's probably time to change the blade and I thought I would just take a couple of seconds and just show you how I do that. So I keep my spare blades on the back of my stamping trimmer and uh, this is how they come to you in a little plastic bag and there's a little protector over the blade there. Now so I'm going to zoom right in for you because at the this end of the stamping trimmer, which is the end opposite where it says stamping up, uh, you can see there is a little uh, little wider part in the channel there, and that is what is going to allow me to change my blade. So I'll just put the light grey one, which is the scoring blade, out of the way just for a second. I'm just going to take that all the way down to the bottom, and now I can just flip that out, easy as that. So I'm going to take the protector off my new blade and there's a little hook, can you see that? And the plastic on the blade there and that just fits over the channel, it's a little groove at the top there and that just fits in, presses in and there you are, job done, easy as that. I cut out my squares next. Now, uh, because they're squares, uh, you could actually get away with not die cutting these and just cutting them on your trimmer. Uh, I like the, the, the kind of nice edge that die cutting gives you, so I'm going to do that. And the dies that I'm going to use are, are the straight sided squares, and I'm going to use that one, which is the smallest, and that one, which is not the next to smallest, the next to smallest is that one, but it's the, uh, the next one after that. And I'm going to cut four of the smallest squares and four of the next size up and I will be right back. Okay I'm back from the big shot and uh, Misty's decided to let me carry on crafting on my own and I've got my four larger squares and my four smaller squares and now I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and I'm going to round off the corners but I'm not going to do all four I'm just going to do the two 
opposite corners on each little square. Just making sure that that's where I want it to be. So there's a big one and the smaller ones are a little bit fiddlier. So take your time. Okay. There's one. Make sure it's sitting nicely in the in the guides there. And I'm going to go and do that on uh, the rest of them. Back in a minute. I just went around the corners on uh, this piece as well and I'm going to be very careful about this because if, as you can see it won't, it's too thin, it doesn't catch on the on the guide on the other side. Three, two, one. I'm just going to round off the corners on this piece as well and I'm going to turn this over so I can see where it is because this piece is too thin and it won't catch on the uh, on both the guides so making sure that it's lined up to one guide. Okay yeah and see that's happened but don't worry I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. And the same thing on this side. Okay, so as you can see, I've got rough edges there, but that's not going to be a problem because I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to kind of angle that in to smooth off that edge. Okay, and nobody will know that you've done that if you do it properly, not like I've done there, made a dog's hind leg of it. Nobody will ever know. So now it's time to assemble all of this and put it all together. So first of all, I'm going to use dimensionals and I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of each of the larger pieces here. So now I'm going to take the backs of the dimensionals and I'm going to place them on my card here. card and do you like it missed what do you think no she's not impressed but i hope that you are and if so then don't forget to comment like share and to subscribe to my channel i will be posting more videos very soon love it if you'd hop on over to my facebook page details are below this video and leave me a picture of what you've been up to i really would like to see it you know but that is it for now thank you very very much for joining me and thank you very much for joining miss lee and we hope that we will see you again soon bye bye